Okay guys, we're just going to hit some three irons down here. That fence is pretty close to be hitting three irons. But I'll just try and hit it through the gap. Yeah, we're only about 13 feet away from that fence. Hit three irons through that gap. See, I've got to be really careful with it because I hit that so good even though it's into the wind. There's some covers down here where people hit from. And that's rolled right up in front of the covers. That's like about 195 into the wind. It's rolled right up in front of the covers. I didn't think I'd get anywhere near it. If you can see the ball flight guys um, but it's just dead straight and very powerful for a little golf swing for a three iron everybody thinks you've got to take the club back a long way to get good contact with a three iron it doesn't matter you know, hitting the long irons is about precision of strike if you can be on plane have good retention of your your um, your storage coming into the ball and be stable, then you'll hit it good. And I'm not trying to get this three iron up in the air. That, that bush there is only you know, about 13 feet in front of me, 14 feet, and I'm not having any trouble getting it up. It's amazing. I, I can't believe how much speed I get. I mean, that's almost gone under the covers again. That was closer. The speed's enormous. The speed's enormous off a little base. No base here. I'll hit a couple a little bit that way. There's that post there, and I didn't want to hit that post. If I'd hit it low, come back and kill me. That's cleared that post by miles. And that old Fairlane car out there on the on the barrel it just went straight over the head of it. And that's about 185 from here. It's just gone straight over the top of that. I'll hit this a little further to the right of that post. See guys, what's evident is there's no miss hits. You really can't have a miss hit if you have that coming in and you're doing this. Basically a pivot release. Coming in, holding that angle and just turning the body through the ball. Sorry guys, I've got the fixed microphone today so if I walk away I just disappear. Hit this a little further right. Now they're three irons guys, they're going like you know 80, 90 feet in the air. Just ripping out there. Now you've got to have good delivery to hit a three iron that high. And you've got to have some good speed, you just won't get it up in the air. You will not get it up in the air. If you don't have, um, you don't have the speed. I'll hit, I'll hit one this way over the camera. Now the freeway's up there. I don't think I'll hit it on the freeway. But I've got a three thousand dollar camera there, and I don't want to uh, knock the lens out of it. Right over the camera.
Guys, that went right over the camera. Almost up into the truck checking station on the freeway. Now, sometimes it's good to see the swing front on. Just get a couple of old balls. Just a couple of old balls and I'll hit them straight over the camera. Straight over the camera. And they're just perfect golf shots. I hope you can see the benefit of seeing this swing on this angle. That's crazy how far that's gone. I'll just hit a couple of wedges over the camera. Just to give you an idea of the wedge look. I'll just hit a couple of drivers down range. And guys, I'll really pour on the power with this and show you how how much power you can get with this little with this very very short duration golf swing. Now the first tee over there is about 255 to carry the fence, but into the wind today it's about probably 290. So I'm going to aim straight at the first tee. That's crazy, that's only just pitched just in front of the fence, into the wind. Now I'm no long knocker, but this picks up speed for me, because I've got a lot of retention. And that fence, those bushes are only you know, 13 feet in front of me, and I can clear those by miles, so I'm getting plenty of, of compression on the ball and getting compression spin to get it up and it's dead into the wind. I mean that's really strong. And you never miss hit it guys because that hinging action is very hard to throw away. That's very easy to throw away, but that's very hard to throw away. I'll hit a couple this way. I don't understand this. That's almost as far as I normally hit the ball when I'm here. And this is into the wind. But as you can see, you don't get any variation. There's nothing going on here. Really good flight. Guys, 
guys, I'm hitting the ball so high. This is an eight degree driver. Okay, it's into the wind, so it's gonna go a bit higher. But because I'm here, really got some compression, I'm putting a lot of compression spin. I think what I'd have to do is probably go to a much lower spin ball, if I'm gonna do this consistently going forward, and, uh, and a stiffer shaft. But for, for you guys that struggle with getting spin, this will be perfect. I, I mean, this flight downwind would be extraordinary. I hope you can see some ball flight pretty hard with those clouds. Guys, I've got to tell you, and, and, and I do it all the time, but I've never hit a better shot than that. I've never felt that type of impact off the face before. It's just amazing. Because it's just short, and it's, I guess it's because it's so flush. Because it doesn't have a chance to get offline. Of course it's only there. I'm not coming in, I'm not making any adjustments, so I'm always in this position. I just hit a couple this way. And I'll really try and hold the angle. The rain out there is coming. Oh boy, is it coming. Now, it just came down. The swing's not long. Oh, that's crazy, guys. See, no miss hits, no. Zero miss hits. All in the middle of the golf club. If I had some impact tape on here, it would show. And guys, I'm able to do this with no spikes on them, wet grass. Which means that the balance is good because you're not swaying off the ball in the backswing. You're not doing a lot of stuff. That's amazing stuff. Okay guys, hitting a lot of balls today because I'm just trying this and I want you to see. And there's no miss hits. It's okay to do a tape and hit a couple of shots, but when you do two and you hit them all, two tapes and maybe 20 minutes long each, and they're all in the middle of the golf club, that tells you that the system's good. This is a practice session. It's not an instruction video, it's, it's both. Okay, well, last ball, but we'll really crush this. That's never coming down, never. That downwind for me would have carried, I don't know, it would have carried forever. I was just reading an old Henry Longhurst book today that a very good friend, very kind friend in, uh, very kind friend in London sent out to me. It's called Only on Sundays, and he talks about George Bayer in 1954 with wooden golf clubs. It was a hole was 397 yards, and George drove it through the back of the green. Wooden golf clubs, 1954. But I saw Bayer when he was well past his prime when he came to Australia in the 80s for the Australian seniors and he still hit at 340 yards then and he was like 65. Okay, last shot. 
This is George Bayer. Little George Bayer. Wow. I'd love to see George with this club. George would hit it 500 yards. And he would have. If he could hit a 397 with those old clunkers that weigh 14 ounces and these weigh 9 ounces, 9.5 ounces, and these are 45 inches long and his were 42 and a half. Okay guys, that's it. That was just another another look at it. We'll do more during the week and I'll go into more of the intricacies. But I think it's uh, I think it's good for us. Anytime you can take a lot of the extraneous movement and motion and balance out of the golf swing, it's got to be good. Okay guys, have a look at that and we'll do more during the week.